Hello everyone, my name is Michael and today we're going to do an unboxing of our diesel tablet. Alright, so here we have our hard case that's going to have our diesel tablet along with the hardware. Alright, so the first thing we're going to take out is going to be our diesel tablet. Nice protective case on it as well. Next we'll have our communication adapter. And then we'll open up all of the cables and accessories that go with the tablet as well. We'll have a password letter that will be used with the tablet. There will be a packing list that you can go through and ensure that you have all of the accessories and tools that will go with the diesel tablet. We have a user manual for the tablet. And then here we have a bag with all of our cables and hardware components. Now here we're going to have a few different cables. This first one is going to be our six pin adapter. This next one is going to be our standard nine pin. Next is going to be our CAT 9-pin adapter. And here we have our OBD2 adapter. And then next is going to be our charging with the wall adapter. And then lastly, a USB connection. And that is everything included in our diesel tablet kit. So with our nine pin connectors, we have two of them. We have our OBD9 standard nine pin connector that has a keyway on our center pin. And then we have our CAT nine pin connector that does not have the keyway on the center pin. Both cables are labeled, so you should be able to tell the difference between them pretty easily. When using these 9-pin connectors, you want to be very sure that you only use the CAT 9-pin connector on CAT equipment. If you use it on anything other than CAT equipment, it will cause issues, and it will cause issues uh, with our communications box. So you want to be sure and only use the CAT 9-pin with your CAT equipment. Now with our USB cables, we have one cable being our USB-C cable and this is what we'll use as our charging cable and then our other USB cable is a standard USB and this will primarily be used for any firmware updates that our communication device needs if we need to do that at all. All right, so if we want to get connected to a vehicle, the first thing we'll need to do is take our communications box, and then we'll have to plug in our cable that has the OBD2 connection, and we'll plug in our connector here on the vehicle side of our communications box.
Once we have that connected, then if we're working, if we're working with an OBD2 connection, we could go ahead and use this OBD2 connection. If not, we can plug in whatever specific adapter that we need. Uh, here we have our six pin connector, our standard nine pin connector, as well as our cat nine pin. So you'll have to just make the selection depending on the equipment that you're working with. So here we could take our standard nine pin connector, if that's what we were working with. We could plug it into our OBD2 connection here. And then from here, we can get connected to our diagnostic port for working with our standard nine pin. All right, so we're out here at the truck and now we're going to go ahead and get connected. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure our key is in the on position on our vehicle. And now we're gonna take our standard nine pin adapter and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into our diagnostic port. All right, once we do that, we wanna verify that the lights have come on on our communications box here. We have our light for power and we have our light for wireless to let us know we're ready to connect to it via Bluetooth. So now we're gonna jump into the software side of things. And uh, with that, be sure that you check out our other videos uh, that will cover the software side of the diesel tablet.